Hello again. Today we're going to read some more books about matter. Do you remember we've been studying matter at school a little bit? We have our science shelf and that has some of the matter experiments on it and many of you have had those presentations. Last week I sent some experiments home for you and your parents to do together and this week we're going to do a little bit more. So I have three books today. They're short, so I thought I could read all of them to you right now. Okay, the first one is called What is a Solid? They are all by the same author, so I'm only going to tell you the author's name once. Her name is Jennifer Boothroyd, and she has written all of these three books that I'm going to read. The first one, What is a Solid? Okay. All things are made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. There are three kinds of matter. A solid is a kind of matter. A solid has its own shape. Most solids do not take the shape of their containers. A rock is a solid. Solids can be hard. A toy is a solid. Solids can be soft. A tree is a solid. Solids can be thick. A ribbon is a solid. Solids can be thin. Cutting a solid changes its size, but it is still a solid. Heating a solid can change its shape. Heat can change a solid into a liquid. Heat can melt wax. Look around. What solids do you see? Can you see something solid in your home right now? Take a look, see if you can see something. What did you find? So that is the end of what is a solid. Now I am going to read what is a liquid. All things are made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. There are three kinds of matter. A liquid is a kind of matter. A liquid does not have its own shape. A liquid takes the shape of its container. Water is a liquid, it flows. Paint is liquid, it drips. Juice is a liquid, you can pour it. Heating is a liquid, heating a liquid can change it. Heating can change a liquid into a gas. Water becomes steam. Cooling a liquid can change it. Cooling can change a liquid into a solid.
Water freezes into ice. Look around, what liquid do you see? What do you see? If I'm looking in my room right now, I see one liquid in my room. Do you want to guess what it is? I'll go and get it. I'll be right back. I just found my glass of water that I was drinking from this morning. Do you see my liquid? It takes the shape of its container. Do you have any liquids in your room? Maybe you'd need to go into the kitchen or outside. I don't know. Okay, our next book is, and this is our last one. What is a gas? All things are made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space. There are three kinds of matter. A gas is a kind of matter. Air is a gas. It's hard to see some gases. Steam is a hot gas. We can feel some gases. Your breath is a gas. A gas does not have its own shape. Gas can be put in a container. The gas moves and fills the whole container. It takes the shape of the container. Gas in balloons can be many different shapes. Cooling a gas can change it. Cooling can change a gas to a liquid. Steam changes to water when it cools. A cloud is made by cooling a gas. Look around. Where can you find gases? Look around you. Can you see any gas? I don't see the gas, but I know it is there. Take a deep breath. Can you feel the gas, the air? Filling your lungs. Now blow out. Can you feel it blowing on your hand? That's a gas. How about this one? Can you make your mouth into a container for gas? And let's see if we can fill it up with gas. <gasps> can you do that? So we've read three books today. What is a solid? What is a liquid? And what is a gas? And I will send some experiments home for you to practice with. And I hope you have fun experimenting with matter.